What's up YouTube? This is your boy John from Project Ellsworth and I am back with you today to give you my review of the 1999 film Audition. Good morning everybody. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Help your boy out, it don't cost nothing. If you're already subscribed to the channel, welcome back folks, it's good to see you guys again. Audition was written by Taisuke Tengan, and it was directed by Takashi Miike, starring Ryu Ishibashi and Aihi Shaina. How many of them names do you think I butchered? So our story begins with Shigaharu sitting bedside with his sick wife. She unfortunately very quickly passes away. So now the story jumps forward seven years. Shigaharu's son is telling him that he's looking very old, he has been feeling very lonely, and he believes that he has finally made up his mind that he would like to remarry. So Shigaharu is having a conversation with his buddy Yasuhisa that he would like to get married again. And he's just talking about, you know, he's a shy guy, he doesn't know how to approach women. So this is a pretty big mountain to climb. But as it turns out, Yasuhisa is a pretty famous movie producer. So he suggests that they stage an audition. This way, Shigaharu can see some pictures, he can find out about a whole bunch of women without having to actually meet or interact with any of them. He can find out background, he can find out interest, he can find out talents and hobbies. He can do all of that across the board without ever having to talk to any of them. It's actually a pretty good plan. Until it isn't. So Yasuhisa gives Shigaharu a whole stack of resumes and pictures and tells him, go look at the, go check these things out, look them over, and then come back to me with 30 of them that you are interested in. We'll have this audition next week. It kind of reminds me of online dating without the online part. So while Shigaharu was looking through these photos and resumes, he comes across a picture and a resume of a girl named Asami Yamazaki. She did classical ballet for 12 years, but she ended up getting hurt when she was 18. She seems kind of young for him, but she's absolutely beautiful and she seems to be refined and that's exactly what he's looking for. So game over, he found exactly who he wants. So now it's audition day. He's sitting there with Yasuhisa and he is basically just going through the motions. He's not interested in any of these girls that are appearing before him. He, you can tell that his mind is wandering. He almost looks like he's daydreaming or in a daze as he's sitting there watching this. And then all of a sudden, Asami walks in and everything changes. He's smiling ear to ear. His mood immediately changes. You can tell that, that, is, that this girl is everything that he's looking for. That's a rat, game over. That's the one he's picking. Later that evening, Shigaharu calls Asami and says that he would like to get together with her, meet up, just go have dinner and talk. Once they get together, she realizes that this is not so much a business meeting as much as it is a meeting for pleasure, that he just actually wants to get to know her. And this makes her more than happy. She's very pleased with this. The pressure seems to immediately come off that this is not like a job interview. So as the evening progresses and it actually starts to wind down, they express how good of a time they each had, they exchange numbers and they go about their business. They go their separate ways. They're both smiling ear to ear. Everybody's happy. New love is in the air. She cannot wait to get his next phone call. And I mean, she really can't wait to get his next phone call. That's it. No more details. I'm gonna leave it at that. The first hour to hour and 15 minutes of this movie, it almost doesn't even feel like a horror movie. It's very sad and it's very heavy and depressing. And then our two main characters meet each other, and then there's like a glimmer of hope and joy and the feeling of fresh new love is in the air. And then this movie very abruptly spirals into madness, brutality, and torture. Audition is a very, very slow burn, but I actually enjoyed that slow burn. It was always interesting. At no point was it uninteresting. 
you got a lot of character build up in this uh, first hour of the movie. There are a lot of clues dropped along the way in the first hour and a half of this movie or hour and 15 minutes of this movie, whatever, the first half of this movie. And then this movie pays off in a gigantic way at the end. I'm a pretty big fan of J-horror, but I'm not a big enough fan that I'm familiar with a lot of directors in the J-horror uh, genre or subgenre, but I do know who Takashi Miike is. Um, I've seen him, uh, he did Itchy the Killer, he also did an installment of uh, Masters of Horror. His installment was called Imprint. I've seen both of those, and those movies are just as twisted as this one is. I really do enjoy Japanese movies, uh, I, Japanese horror movies more specifically. I don't know, the only one that I can think of that I've watched that I flat out did not like was Juon, which was the original Grudge movie, the Japanese, the original version of The Grudge. That movie I didn't care for. I've seen several J-horror movies and I've liked every single one of them except for that one. And shame on me for not seeking out more of this stuff. So 1999's Audition. I think that this movie is a perfect example of Japanese horror filmmaking. If you have not seen Audition, check this movie out. It is fantastic. Never again will I hear the words Piano Wire without thinking of the movie Audition. Have you seen this flick? What did you think of Audition? Do you have any other J-horror suggestions of movies that I should watch in the future? Leave me some comments down below and let's talk about it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you have been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge favor. Click that subscribe button and then ring that notification bell. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, have a kick-ass day, and thank you for watching.